park. My camera is only about half charged up when I left. So I'm hoping I can get some good footage. This area of dumpsters here, I used to find stuff here all the time. I think I mentioned that in another video. But there is one business here that I don't think is here anymore and I think they used to throw out a lot of computer stuff. funny when I watch these videos too. I remember last time I was here like I get so wrapped up in like talking about stuff I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Like I think I completely skipped like a whole dumpster like over there. I think I did what I just am doing now and parked over here because of all those trucks and then I just kept working my way that way and I never came back to that dumpster. I noticed that in the video. Kind of cracking me up. I also notice sometimes I see, I probably just hit the camera into that fence, sorry. Sometimes I see things on video that I didn't see in real life and vice versa. Farkle. First Farkle of the day. This is probably not going to be anything. I don't even know why I picked it up. Oh, it is brass. I thought it kind of had like a brass look to it. It's either brass or stainless steel. I think it's brass though. So we're not going to make the same mistake we did last time, and we're going to walk back here and check this dumpster. It's probably just paint in here. It's a paint place. I don't think you're supposed to throw away paint. It's just an empty can. Pretty sure those are tin. And a bunch of plastic stripping things. So, yeah. Pretty good. Nothing, nothing we're into. Nothing I'm into there. I'm trying not to say we. I'm trying to say I in the videos. I have this tendency to say we because I feel like I'm talking to someone because I kind of am because I know somebody's going to be watching this video or at least more than one person's going to be watching this video and I kind of feel like you guys are with me doing this so I'll say like okay we're going to do this we're going to do that and it just it sounds dumb on the video it sounds like I'm schizophrenic um or I guess multiple personalities right Schizophrenics, I think, hear voices and all that stuff. They have multiple personalities. It's not my field. Nothing in here. Nope. It's getting to the point where I'm just going to stop checking in here because I haven't found anything in here for a long time. Or Farkle. Gotta love the Farkles. Kind of medical thing. I don't have anything to do with that. Oh. dumpster over here it's like a water purification place mm, 
thought that was like a big cable. It just looks like a piece of plastic tubing or something. That bubble wrap's wet. Otherwise, I would grab that. I got some shipping to do tomorrow. I had about a little piece of wire there. I had five eBay sales this weekend. March is kind of slow, even though I did really well money-wise this month because I had a few big sales. Uh, the sales velocity is pretty slow. A couple sales a day here and there, drop my wire. They kind of trickle in. I haven't been listening either, so eBay likes to see activity and they reward you for that by boosting your items up in search. And even just a little bit of activity a day will be enough to do that. Uh, just listing a few items here and there, going in and repricing things, running sales, stuff like that. Uh, if they like to see that kind of activity. Got another sparkle there. And I just haven't done much last week on eBay, really. I thought that was a dime with like a piece of dirt on it. It's like a piece of metal with a hole in it. <laughs> but yeah, this is absolutely perfect weather for me for doing this. It might not be for some people, but I would rather be, you know, have the option of putting on more clothes to stay warm. And then if you get too hot, you can take off a layer or whatever and uh, kind of keep yourself comfortable. Whereas when it gets too warm, it's just nothing you can do. Forties and fifties though, for me, at least mid forties. So like high fifties. Pretty much ideal weather for me for doing this. Because you're moving around, kind of getting warm. Uh, cycling is one thing, and then, uh, you know, pushing yourself up on the dumpsters, pushing myself up on the dumpsters. It's like doing push-ups. It's when it's hot. It can be a bit much. This is the moving company. Sometimes they have random electronic broken crap out here. Seeing anything today though. Insulation that I don't want to have go anywhere near. I do see some wire down there. A little tiny piece, but I'm gonna grab it. I think that's plastic and not glass, but I'm still not going to ride through it. I do want to get those tubeless tires. They look pretty slick. I saw one video of this guy was riding through all kinds of crazy stuff. Boards with nails sticking right up out of it. Uh, broken glass. Thumbtacks. And I mean thing tire just looked like it had been brutalized they had like sealant coming out of all over like the tire but it was still completely rideable so that pretty much made my decision when I watched that video 
I mean, it's actually going to save money in the long run. Money and time. Which is the same thing. stuff back here yes yeah, a beautiful day out this is one of my favorite things to do is this Sunday dumpster diving route so it's like riding around in a ghost town And I don't know why I like that, but I do. It's really peaceful. It's just a only. Oh yeah, it is a recycling dumpster. Yeah, they used to have two trash dumpsters here. They must have got rid of one. Really no need for two. Got the top of my gloves wet, but that should dry off real quick. I don't know if the tops of these are wool or, or microfiber. They look like wool, but I'm, I wonder if they're microfiber because they dry off really fast. Pretty much a dead dumpster here. I almost just rode right past it, but let's check it out. Never found anything in here ever. Chucking that one. It's kind of out of the way. There are a number of ways to expand this route. There's another street down there, very similar to this street here, with all kinds of industrial stuff on it. And there's an aluminum treatment, not a treatment plant, I think they do casting there. There's a bunch of businesses around here that do stuff with aluminum. And sometimes they throw out some good chunks of aluminum over there. There's a couple other ways I can add dumpsters to this. If I wanted to, I could do this for probably six to eight hours. On the way back home, there's so many dumpsters. But I generally spend about two, three hours doing this after band practice. Then go home and eat lunch. So I ran over another screw. really bad news <clears throat> little bits of wire everywhere around here
Plus my camera is not going to last as long as it usually does, so it's kind of a moot point. Kind of a weird sound, sounding engine for a car like that. A lot of exhaust coming out. I wonder if he modified it or something. Uh, hoping I'm not going to have to drive very much the rest of the year. Radio works fine. The only thing that I can see wrong with it is uh, the switch for the light. Won't turn off. I think it's supposed to latch and the light's supposed to stay off, but it just stays on. Uh, it just pops right out when you put it in. I, like a momentary switch. I don't think that's how it's supposed to operate. So I'm going to open that up and check it out. Um, there's a bunch of like little dents and dings and marks and some paint and stuff like that. These go on eBay for like 10 to $50. So this will probably be on the low end of that. I'll probably do, try to get like, I don't know, um, 10, 15 plus shipping would be like probably like 30 bucks. So yeah, I'd probably be asking like $30 free shipping, something like that. Um, depending on if, if I can get that switch to work or not. This is uh, software items I found. This is a driver disc for a USB floppy drive smart disc. And uh, Dell, this is operating system software for a Pocket PC Windows software. Pocket PC 2003 without look. Uh, the shrink wrap's been broken, but the disc inside it is still sealed. So that'll sell on its own. And then all these discs will sell together. Unfortunately, these sleeves got dirty, so I'll have to replace them with just stock white sleeves, which I have on hand, but it's two bags. It has like the Dell part number and everything on the back, but uh, this will all sell together. It's uh, Windows XP Pro with Service Pack 10, and these are the application discs that go with it and documentation. So yeah, kind of a cool little score. Also got this whole uh, tote of scrap. A bunch of this I found off camera. But I uh, found some copper, some stainless steel, um, then yeah, I got a bunch of wires, a couple of motors, some aluminum cans, and yeah, just the usual, the usual culprits. This uh, Cisco conference phone, I could not get to power up with this power supply and uh, this thing that it plugs into, and then this cable goes into the base. And it looks like all the connections are good, but yeah, just nothing happens when you plug it into the wall. There's no power button or anything on it, so I think it's just supposed to come on. Uh, but yeah, nothing happens. It's too bad because that'd be a good item to sell. Uh, the Cisco networking stuff is always real good. These microphones are probably fine. I could probably sell those on their own, but I have no way to test them without the base unit. So unfortunately, those are probably just going to get scrapped unless I, I... It might be worth it to put it up as is. Uh, I have to do some research on that, but I kind of doubt it. So I have a hunch this whole thing is unfortunately going to get scrapped out, but uh, kind of a cool find. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.